What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Sally Two Times. I'm back at it again with another vlog. It's been a long time waiting. Um, this vlog is gonna be a little different. Um, I'm going to be going to Dallas, and I think I'm going to do a day one, day two, day three, day four type of thing. So, this vlog is, as you see the title in the thumbnail, how I made six figures in six months. Now, all it really is, I'm gonna stop right here, honestly. I'm on my way to work. Um, for those of you who watch other videos, if you if you know, you know. If you don't, just know. I am a teacher as well, so I am actually on my way to work. Not now, but right now. It is almost spring break. Um, this is the last day. This is Friday. I get off early. All that. I honestly don't know if I want to do this vlog as a like driving vlog, talking to y'all. Or if I want to sit down and talk to y'all. But I feel as though. I feel as though. A driving vlog. Would be more sensational. Because I feel like I think more clearly. When I drive. Did any, let me know in the comments down below. If you feel more freely when you drive. Type of thing. I'm not going to yap the whole way. Because y'all going to hear me yapping this video. Um, So I'm not going to yap the whole way. I am going to actually cut the camera off now and let you guys watch how my day goes. Anyways. Oh y'all, I got a new camera. If you can't notice, I got a new camera. I am so excited about it. Um I play with the camera. Um I got the settings correct. I just don't know what preset that I want to do yet. Um I like them all honestly. I'm stuck between two. So some videos may have different filters, others may have other filters. Uh, not filters, I'm sorry. Like, camera presets. Like, I like this preset. This is honestly a good preset for... Hold on, let me go. This is honestly like a good preset. I would say for... Bro, it's spring breaking where I stay at, though. So, I, I teach in another county. And live in another county. So, one county's on spring break right now. And the road is so clear. And I'm not... Know or thought I was on besides camera preset, so yeah, we gonna figure it out as it goes. But I love this one. This is honestly amazing. Let me know in the comments down below if y'all like my new camera quality too. Uh, but you know, why you wait for me? Cause I think I'm, I am gonna drive. I'm gonna drive and do this vlog. I'm just gonna set y'all up. And yeah, I'm gonna drive and do this vlog when I get off work. So I can I pick that back up when I'm on my way to Georgia because next time, honestly not the next time y'all see me, but like cause I'm gonna add that part in my Day in Life of a Scat Pat on a vlog that's gonna come too. Um, there, I'm not gonna have no headliner y'all. <laughs> Gotta get my stars put in today. It's gonna take him a day or two. I told him he could take two cause I'll be in Georgia. Yeah, y'all. I'm not gonna yap. I'm, not, I'm gonna stop yapping right now. So I'll pick y'all back up as soon as I get started with my vlog. All right. Honestly, I can start my vlog, and I'll, I'll show y'all like a little bit about how, like how my day goes um, as far as like when I get to school and everything like that. So that's what y'all see next. So stay tuned. And then yeah, peace out two times. Huh.
I'm pumping gas. So yes, I'll get it. I ain't wearing that my boot out there, bro. I'm, I'm getting it. I was just saying, like, that ain't sick. What's up, y'all? I told y'all I was going to pick y'all back up when I began driving, which I've been driving for a minute, but I wanted to drive when I'm not going around a lot of curves and stuff just because I have the camera literally sitting right here. And again, I'm driving don't do this at home i am a um have a paid professional taught me how to do this <laughs> all right so i'm about to tell y'all like my story of how i was able to uh have my cola brand accumulate six figures in six months like and i'm gonna go ahead and give y'all like a disclaimer like this not even possibly gonna be step by step of what you need to do because you gotta get yourself right first like that's the that's the first step like you gotta get yourself right your mind right your manifestations right you gotta get your notebooks right you gotta get make sure you write this stuff down but i'm about to tell y'all exactly how it started who i met what changed my life this that and the third so boom it is june oh and before i do that i'm gonna like try, i'm gonna try to put as much stuff here so yeah like over here or wherever so I can say so y'all can see the timeline and like just for proof purposes like I'm, I'm putting as much stuff as I can of how my story finna go June I, so I'm on summer break right so I'm a for those that don't know if you know you know if you don't just slow because you ain't caught up with me yet and you go watch my other vids I am a teacher uh, I mean before this I mean you kind of knew I was a teacher when you seen all this stuff that I did with this video but yeah anyways I am a teacher I'm off in the summertime. However, I do work summer school. I do work summer school. So either way, I'm a teacher. I work summer school, but I have summers off, you know. Boom, like two months off. So I'm also in Divine Nine. I am part of Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated. Uh, and so I went to North Carolina to a Greek picnic, right? While I was in the airport, I was scrolling on TikTok and I seen this guy right here on TikTok promoting his brand. He probably done posted too many videos by now for me to go find the exact video that I saw. Um, but if I find it, I'll put it here. If not, I'll just still put, I'm going to put his uh, TikTok profile right here. His name was, <laughs> it's kind of funny, I'll put text messages too. So, at this time, I'm not knowing who he was. I just seen the product he put out. And I was like, bro, like... That's going to be hard if I do that for D9. So, I go to his DMs. Boom. Message him. I message him. I'm like, hey, like, just texting him like, hey, well, can you send me your manufacturer or are you selling your manufacturer? I'm not sure exactly what I said, but I'm going to have the message right here. And he was like, yeah. Not like how much you selling it for. Y'all, he was like 150 And I was like, hmm. But in the back of my mind, I'm like, you gotta take the risk on yourself. Like, if you don't, you're not gonna like, you're not gonna make stuff happen if you sit there and don't take the risk on yourself because it costs money to make money. That is literally, if you ever heard that in the movies, if you ever heard your parents say that, if you ever heard friends, family, anybody say that, it is true. You can like, and to be honest, y'all, this is not a get a get rich quick scheme. This that ain't that. It, it's not that because at the end of the day, I'm still not rich. I still invest back into my business. But that's neither here nor there. So boom, I text him 150. I was like, okay. So first, and then, you know what's funny is he told me his name was a whole nother name. <laughs> he told me his name was a whole nother name, y'all, before he got big. But I understand why I like his TikTok and people weird. You know what I'm saying? So I cash tapped into 150. And like, I don't know, I was kind of scared or whatever. But I still like made it happen. I sent him the money. This, that, and the third, boom. So he was very generous. He sent me. I'm gonna get to his name, his real name. I think he told me at first. I think he told me his name was Chris, but and then we go get to the name later. Um, but yeah, I sent him the cash out, 150. Boom. He was very generous. He sent me the manufacturer and he sent me some mock-ups to go by, and he sent sent me uh, I think a size chart to the yeah what he uses for the leather zip-ups that I put out. So boom. 
All right, I got that. Pay my 150. So let's let's start an addition. So I got 150. So then, after that, um, I started chatting with the manufacturer, and they were like, "It's going to cost me one. I think 120, 110. I, I can't really remember because I don't have that inf the information anymore. Just because you'll see longer in the story. So I. 150 each. That's 150 per. And there are nine organizations. And I had to send them nine different designs. But even before that, no, no, not before that. So I had to send them nine different designs because there's nine divine nine organizations. So while I'm sending that stuff, the designs, I'm like, bro, this about to be a thousand dollars. Now keep in mind, y'all. Like I did, I did stuff before this. I sold shoes, this, that, and the third. So I had, you know, a little bit of, a little bit of money on before. But like, it wasn't like as much as I've accumulated. Remember, think, remember, I am a teacher. Teachers only get paid one check for the entire summer. Like it equals out to two months. However, that one check has to last you the entire summer. And I use my money that I teach with for different things. I use money for certain money for certain things. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to budget this money because I still got a budget because like I said, it's the stretch that we have. So like from when our last day, like end of May all the way to the end of, cause we get paid end of the month, the end of August, I have to let money, <laughs> I have to spread that money. So that's basically three months y'all. All right, so boom. So I'm like, oh my gosh, like this about, this a thousand dollars for samples. Like this ain't even the real stuff y'all. Uh, this, this not even the real stuff yet. So we go through samples, and that's nine hundred dollars. Like I said, spend money to make money. Nine hundred dollars. So I'm like, oh my god. Like, what am I like? I ain't gonna. Th right, what am I gonna do? Like, how I'm gonna pay this? Is that third? It was. Of course, I'm gonna get it done. But I'm like, how am I gonna get it done? So what I did was, I went and applied for a thousand dollar credit card. I went and I, I'm telling y'all like this real I wouldn't apply for a thousand dollar credit card just to send my manufacturer at the time the money. So like I said, I've taken another risk. Like I'm investing in myself, um, manifesting the ROI, the return on my investment. So as I did that, <coughs> I paid them. So boom, what I did, what we at now? One thousand one hundred fifty dollars. All right. So then, so boom, I get to, they said, like I'm sending the designs. Then I realized, then like as I, you know, posting the designs, getting all this, that, I getting heck of feedback, a lot of good feedback, a lot of bad feedback, only because like I kind of messed up the designs um, at first. Cause I put something, I suck. So when I, like my main, you gotta be super specific with the manufacturers and sometimes they still mess up. So on some of them, they put the back on the front and the front, but I went on the front on the back. So I was like, I was like, bro. But it was only because majority of the, like we all have rules when in terms of getting this, this stuff done. So, and while this is going on, I'm getting the licensing, which I don't even want to tell y'all how much that costs. <laughs> but it is, it is a lot of money on. Just know I took out another credit card for another high limit to get this done. So I'm gonna just say we had about, I don't even wanna say like seven, like, I'm gonna just say 5K, I'm gonna just keep it keep it short, sweet, whatever. We had 5K. So, so boom, I just take out to get all the licensing done and everything like that. Because if you do stuff with Divide 9, um, you have to get certain licensing in order to put out their product so you're not putting out the wrong stuff, this, that, and the third. It's very important. Um, if you are another clothing brand owner looking at this, then you don't have to worry about that. Just make sure you trademark. You do make sure you trademark your stuff and get your LLC or sole proprietorship. All right, that's y'all. That's y'all's tip from this. All right. So of course, as the samples getting made, this that a third. What do I say? As the samples getting made, I'm getting my license. So all that happened, good. So then, as I'm talking to the manufacturer, I make I make my first drop. I, so that, what that is so that's all July getting my samples 
uh, June, I met the dude, uh, talked July, and talked to the manufacturer to get my designs ready. All that was June. July, all that is when I'm getting my licensing. I finally sent the designs over. This, that, and the third. All right, boom, that's July. August, so I'm thinking, I'm, I'm ready. I got my website ready. Um, I'm still, you know, communicating with G3. I'm still communicating with G3. Uh, just learning and getting the roles. I'm like, bro, what's you know, getting all my uh, like information. So then August comes around. My drop was August 5th. My drop was August 5th. I kid y'all not. Um, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna show y'all how August 5th went in a day because I didn't, and that wasn't even a day. In about, I think, 15 to 20 minutes, I was at 10K. I was at $10,000. Then I think that day I was at 20 to 30. And I think my first like month I made like 50 or 60. I can't remember the exact numbers. So I made my first, I did my first drop. However, with that, they were pre-orders. And some people didn't <clears throat> feel the need to read that they were pre-orders. So that's another problem that you could possibly have. If people don't like to read, I mean, I don't like to read either. But when it comes to me spending my money, I'ma read everything that I can in order to make sure when I'ma get it and you know what comes with it type of thing. So that's that. So these are pre-orders. So August 5th. All right. I'm telling my customers that it's gonna take at least four to six weeks for their stuff to come in. So about the mid -sep mid September. So if you know D9, D9 is always in um, HBCUs, most of the time HBCUs. And you know from September, October, November, those three months are the most important months in HBCU culture because those are homecoming months. So, as that happens, so August happens and I'm talking to the manufacturer, I send them my list that was, so I had all the orders. So I had 900 zip-ups to be made. I had 900 zip-ups to be made. I had 900 orders, I only sold 100. And I sold out. 100 per org, I sold out. Everybody, stuff went viral on TikTok. I made my um, Instagram for it. All that was blowing up. I'll show you right now the views on all of it right now. Boom, 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 boom. All right, boom. So, as it's nearing like the mid-September, people are starting to ask, like, where's my stuff? I need this outfit this and the third. So, I'm just like, I'm communicating. I'm screenshotting everything the manufacturer's telling me, and I'm putting it on my business Instagram. I'm doing all that, everything I can to be as transparent as I can, and which I still do. So, y'all, the manufacturer lied to me about production time. Not to mention, China goes on so many holidays that are weeks and months long. So, as I've talked to the China manufacturer, they're like, oh, well, it takes 10 days to do this, then it takes another 15 days to do this, and then it takes 20 days to do this, and it's going to take another 20 to 30 days to get it shipped to you. I had like 20, 30, I had 30, 20 30 boxes i can't really remember i'm like bro what or oh, this i gave y'all my numbers back in august so i'm just like and i gave them the money at that and not to mention so i paid them i paid them their money for it to make my stuff right then i paid them then i had to pay them again for shipping and that was like another two two bands i believe i'm about to go back and look at my paypal so, I'm already stressing. Everybody, I have, and I don't care. It wasn't even the ladies, bro. It was, it was the men. I got cussed out mostly by men about not having an outfit for homecoming. <laughs> so this year, I'm going to say this. This year, homecoming, July, August, homecoming. Homecoming is like I make sure everybody get their stuff. I'm, I'm starting up. Y'all start order that stuff in June. Cause I, ain't, but. That's the year though there because I have a new manufacturer, which I'll get to. So I'm like, bro, like, so September goes by. I, you know, respond to everybody, being transparent, posting 
trying to continue to get customer engagement and everything like that so as that's happening you know I'm getting my customer engagement is that in the third um still getting you know people a little antsy because of course homecoming like I own the brand and I didn't even have my stuff for my homecoming y'all and my homecoming was October 16th I think last year so all coming to hit around I I wasn't able to ship out everybody's stuff until the end of October like October 27th so and, and when I got it I stayed up all night I was up to like 3 4 a.m. packing it as soon as the boxes got there I pushed all the boxes in the house and I delivered I mean I pushed all the boxes in the house and got the packing as soon as I got home from work because again y'all I'm a teacher I still, and not to mention that's basketball season for me. I'm also a basketball coach. So I packed all the orders. I even sent people, people like I was getting charged back after charge back after charge back. I didn't get much. I didn't get many. I think I got like a couple. I didn't get many because I had like 700 some orders because some people order multiple things. People order for their line. Um, I didn't have many chargebacks though. Not enough for Shopify to hold my money because Shopify will do that. That is what my website is through Shopify. Um, so, as that's happening, um, like I said, I didn't get many chargebacks, so, I shipped everybody their stuff, even if they did, like, you know, get refunded, or whatever, I, I didn't even touch, I didn't even touch the money that was in my business account, because I didn't know what was gonna happen, I didn't know if I needed to refund these people, or how many people were gonna do chargebacks, <coughs> Or if anything could I could like anything could happen, so I didn't even touch that money. Like in my mind, I'm still surviving off of you know the money I told y'all back back then, like my teacher money, because I taught summer school as well, so I can get that extra check um, and stuff like that. Like I do a whole bunch of stuff, y'all. So I'm not touching the money at all. Like it's like I'm telling y'all, it's like it's like 70 bands sitting in my business account, and I'm not touching it at all, like at all. I paid them. Pay them there. I got you. You pay like a 50 50. You pay 50 to get started, and then 50% before they ship it. And then you got to pay the shipping. So I had to send all that in the August. I mean, in the October, I sent everybody stuff. Everybody's posting. Everybody looking good. I got, but I had so many people still. While I did have people cursing me out and mad at me, even though I'm being as transparent as most of these brands will never be. Do you think, do you think Nike would tell y'all something? They would tell y'all something once a month. If your, your order got backtracked. No. you Would you, like, I'd be like, would you cuss out Nike? No. Nothing like that. So, I was te I'm telling y'all, like, the bad stuff, too, because I want y'all to understand that while you're trying to accumulate a, some passive income, like, make it a whole other business and have more income, you're going to have those down, those downsides. Like, and I don't even say that these are downsides. These are learning experiences. Like, I learned so much, and I'm just moving on and just keep being transparent. Keep being transparent. Just continue to just tell my customers, you know, what's going on, this, that, and the third. So, but while that's going on, I got so many, you know, compliments and uh, for, like, being transparent as most of these other brands will. Because there are other Greek brands that supposedly have the stuff and still will make you wait for about a month and they won't tell you really pretty much anything you have to continue to reach out to them and sometimes they don't even respond so i just know their disputes going crazy but like i said i'm trying to be different and i'm the only one that runs this and i like continue to tell people that because you to be transparent they're like one for only one person was like you know don't chew more no what is it don't bite more than you can chew I, like, I got this it's just like you just not being patient that's what I want to say, but have you professional, you know, I ain't say that. But at the same time, like, you really got to be patient with yourself, and you really got to be professional with everything, and just, like, under, like, for your mind and safety, it's going to be discouraging. You're going to be like, dang, I don't want to do this no more. Like, I'm going to make this drop, or I'm going to, like, whatever you're doing with your business, like, you're going to do that one thing, and then you're done with it. Don't do that, because you never know, like, what could transpire with that. So with that being said, I made I did another drop in 
I did another drop in. Did I do a November drop, y'all? I did. I did. So October. So then I. So boom. Out, out. This this how this goes. This how this one go. So as that stuff, my other stuff's being done, I get a whole nother manufacturer because you're not about to have me sitting here for three months looking crazy because you said it was only gonna take a month and a half, but it takes three months. So this other manufacturer. I'm still, which I'm still working with right now. Uh, we kind of having a problem right now, but they going through some family stuff as far as like, like somebody got injured and she got to take whole another thing. So they're behind two days actually. And I know some of my customers need stuff by the 23rd, but I really need whatever. It's a whole another, a whole different manufacturer that's not in China, Pakistan. So people are always like, oh. Don't Pakistan. Do not use a Pakistan manufacturer. Da, 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 da. You gotta find the right one, okay? And you got, and when you find them, you gotta be sp specific. And I'm not gonna get. And people were like, "Well, can you give me yours?" No, because it's gonna make my stuff even more slow. And I ain't having that. Um, but anyways, November got a new manufacturer. I make another drop for another viral product. Another viral product. I did Barker jackets. They're like, oh, Barker jackets, like, they got them. Not really. No, they don't. When I dropped them, people was like, what? What? Had another 20 to, to had a 20. I'm going to have to go back and, like, literally show y'all the numbers, but I know it was another 20 to 30K drop. 20 to 30K drop for November. And I was blessed for that. I did a Black Friday one, and then I redropped in December. I dropped the biker jackets all the way up until February. Yeah, I kept the biker jackets dropping till February because people, some people weren't getting them. Of course, Christmas, so they didn't want to buy that. They sacrificed for other things. So I waited till people, you know, got their taxes. And not to say like I'm trying to take their money. It's just like I'm looking out for them because if you want the product. And it's, I don't, I'm not, and those those type of biker jackets are never dropping again. I'm, I have a whole new design for biker jackets. So, for people that wanted those, they got those. And they really wanted those, so I dropped those. And I dropped that from November all the way to February. End of February. Uh, what was it, March? Was it this month? I can't even remember. So, I dropped that. That was all through, I think that was 30K, and that is what, and that's why in February, that's my sixth month. Um, that's my, that's the month I hit six figures. I hit one hundred four thousand in sales. So pretty much that's how that's how everything went. That's how everything goes. And like you're like that's it. And I, I say yeah, that's that's pretty much it, y'all. Like, going on? I'll go do like a little summary as to how I made six figures in six months and then you know december end of december january rolls around i bought myself a scat pack for my hard working services i went i still have my other card though and i bought myself a charger scat pack because i know i needed something a little bigger because boxes is crazy and i see the difference in struggling with getting boxes in the car so yeah that that was important for me uh but to give y'all like a quick summary Go to social media sites, whether it be TikTok, even though they possibly about to ban it, YouTube. Reach out to some big brands to see if they can help you. A lot of people are selling ebooks and courses and whatnot. I'm so thankful for G3 for doing like telling me stuff for free. Like now, now me and him are like close. Like I see him as a brother and everything like that because I see G3 as a brother. I met him when he was on the verge of becoming as big as he is now. Like he was already, he was already there, but he hasn't re hadn't reached his peak yet. Which is not, he's not even at his peak. But I'm saying like he was not as big as he was now. Um, now he's like basically nationally known for the deluxe heels. Uh, but like I said, I see him as a brother. He helped me with everything. He still do help me with everything for the free ski. Um, and I do it. I'd help him with anything. Like if he could, if he could wear what I, you know, put out, he said he would. Cause it's, 
it's like that but he can't because you know only certain people can wear it you have to be a part of the organization um but like, like don't be a, and I, this just goes to say like don't be afraid to reach out to these people on tiktok youtube go find them and not to admit like i don't i ain't gonna lie i done bought one ebook um and that's because i want to learn how to like do fashion and like do content uh, i want to do that this summer and everything just like do content and everything and that's why youtube i'm trying to do this youtube stuff y'all uh, so yeah, this is important to me right now like i'm focusing on this and just making sure like i stay consistent <clears throat> but it's it, honestly it's really truly hard having an actual life and then like being a teacher and all that and trying to do content creating and running the clothing brand like all that's hard like it's stressful um but back to you know go reach out to these people uh so that and some will help you some won't some won't tell you to buy my ebook it'll help you 100 percent. all the tools are in there what i went through is in there and they may be uh but i was blessed grateful and i am thankful that i didn't have to go through that and buy ebook and everything like that another thing is take a risk on yourself save your money keep your job people quit their job all the time to live out their dream but i'm telling you right now in this economy that is not going to happen <laughs> in this economy that is it's not going to happen like that even with tiktok it's not going to happen tiktok literally is hit or miss you gotta learn tiktok and like i said do not quit your job you're gonna need your job to fund your new business at least the first year or two that it is running that is the same reason yes i have accumulated six figures in six months but i still go to my i still clock in every day i'm still at school every day still getting insurance still paying for that paying cheaper insurance than i would if i wasn't still gotta work a little bit but i was like I said, I will not probably leave my real job until I hit like five hundred thousand dollars. That's probably I promise you. Like when I quit, y'all y'all wouldn't know why I hit five hundred thousand dollars because that is the only time I quit, and which I probably still will not. And let like it's just it gets, and when I open my own store, but then I'll be able to hire people. Like it's some like I know when I'm manifesting that my brand would be too big for me to just run by myself. And which it already feels like it is, but I'm still doing the best I can, and it's not like hasn't got to me yet to where I'm like, uh, because I still take breaks from myself. I still go out of town. I still, you know, take Sundays sometimes to myself and everything like that. I still play my video games because I can right now. But the day I can't and realize that I can't, oh, it's over with. I'm hiring people, <laughs> interns, paid interns, all that, and not to mention. I got ambassadors, so, and they just get free stuff. So, huh. I don't need, I don't have to pay them right now, but I do, I am trying to come up with like a program and coupon codes and everything for them to make money on. Cause this economy is crazy and I know they will make the money on. But for right now they do stuff for free, but they know it's coming, like everything is coming into fruition. They gonna eat too, I promise. But yeah, back to investing in yourself. Like that's why you need your job still because you got to pay for everything that comes with the territory like you gotta pay for that LLC you can't do that and not work honestly you can't even really get a great credit card without some income and everything like that keep your job for at least a year or two now unless you hit that your mark set your goal for when you want to quit your job but do not quit and your business ain't accumulated you in the in the over margin you hit that plus margin <laughs> and the margin like if you under you ain't made no money you make sure you make it some money after paying your taxes after everything probably after all that make sure you in the in the green or, or in the black i'm sorry in the black in business terms and green but you know what i'm talking about no, you know i'm talking about all right, and lastly, pretty much, just believe in yourself. I have a channel going on right now on Instagram. I ain't really talking it much, but I'm not trying to be the aggy one, and at the same time, I do not have time. But when I do have time and I think of something that I feel like is useful to people, I tell them. So, if you're watching this video, it's your first time watching, literally, then go get you a notebook. Go get you at least, I, tell you, I told them to get two notebooks. 
Go get one for your manifestations. Go get one for your business. So you can start jotting everything that you think of down. All the expenses you need for your business, jot that down. Write it down, look it up. Look up who you look up to. This, that, and the third. That manifestations one though, make that look professional. Go get you a professional journal to write in because that's gonna be your, your manifestations. It could be a three spiral, whatever, but mine's look like look like a professional, like good journal. Go get you one of them, write all of your manifestations in there. I'm talking about be so specific. Like it don't even gotta be sentences. It could be get a car by so and so. It could be like that. Make my brand big by yada yada yada. Make sure you put even if you can, like give yourself a date. Write down those manifestations. And if you're not religious and watching this, I this is a disclaimer. You can skip 10 seconds ahead. Pray, but pray, y'all. Pray. I pray to... I pray like so hard and I pray for the same things every single day. I'm not super specific in my prayers, but the things that I say in my prayer, I feel like, you know, in my heart, God knows what I'm talking about. In my heart, all I know is what I'm talking about. He knows what's in my heart in those words that I say. So that's also important. And ever since I've been doing that every day, I don't miss a day. I think I have before. Um, and there's no excuse that I did because I, I was tired. But it, that's definitely not an excuse because I do it every time in the shower. Pray every day in the shower because that's when you have the most time to yourself, honestly. So pray in the shower. And pray for so for example, I ask for God, I say, God, I accept all love, joy, peace, happiness, health, growth, strength, and protection. That's where I pray to God. I keep the Allah prayer to myself. Um, just because I keep it to myself. But um like and ever since then I have all of that. So do that for yourself. Come up with some words, a manifestation that you want to God to know that you are ready to accept. And he's not going to do it right then. It's going to take some days and it's going to take for you to work. Don't just sit there and think, oh, I'm praying. I'm sit. I'm going to go sit on my couch and watch TV all day and it's going to come to me. No. Go do the work. I pray, but I also do the work. I seen this post. It was like, yes, I pray, but I will still work my A word off. And that's why I'm also fasting right now. Um, I couldn't give up not drinking water just because of health purposes. And I ain't trying to get dehydrated. <laughs> but um, other than that, I am fasting because I have to give up something to show that I am blessed, grateful, and thankful for everything that God and all I puts into my life. So, pray. None of this is possible. I feel like I feel like none of this is possible because none of this happened until I started praying. Um, so with that being said, y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed this vlog and I hope it gave y'all like just motivation. This wasn't to word for word tell you how to go out and make six figures in six months because you still have to put in the work. You still have to put in the work. It, it just, I, nobody in this world can tell you exactly what to do because they put in the work. Jay-Z, he gonna go tell you. He's a billionaire. I think it's turning for that. Jay-Z's a billionaire. And all the millionaires that you see on TikTok, they tell you to go put in the work and manifest. Nobody's gonna sit here and work hard and just tell, like people ask me all the time, be like, hey, give me the sauce. I am, I promise you, I, am, I don't give out free game no more. Like I give out a little bit to get you started, but I'm not gonna sit here and give you every single detail of what to do because I didn't have that. I didn't, he didn't give me every single detail. He didn't throw it to the wolves or nothing you know, like that. I could have asked him, he probably would've told me, but he gave me a manufacturer and I went on about my day. I started working. And now one of the most successful Greek clothing brands out here don't think you about to that's what this video not for to tell you that this video is to motivate you to go do it 
because at the end of the day I love y'all and I'll do anything I can to help y'all but I want to motivate you because your dreams and my dreams are completely different dreams so why am I teaching you how to live my dream I don't want you to live my dream I want you to live your dream but I want my dream to inspire your dream okay so I love y'all I am almost at my destination I done yapped it up with y'all a lot <laughs> y'all take this to the heart and know that I love y'all and y'all can do this I can't wait to hear y'all testimonies and I can't wait to hear that I helped y'all become millionaires six figures whatever six seven eight figures I don't care what it is I don't even care if it's five five extra figures of income is so imperative in this world especially if you have a family and I, I never knock anybody hustle and don't let nobody knock your hustle because I've had people try to knock my hustle I don't even know why I don't even, I never even affiliated myself with that person for real and they try and they try to knock my hustle but that stuff's gonna test you and ever since then y'all I ain't gonna cap ever since then because I didn't respond to it I realized like I really have grown I could have responded to the nonsense but I didn't I never did I, only thing I did was post like something motivational because I'm like, bro, I'm grown for now. I'm not gonna sit here and go back and forth with someone that wants to down degrade me for what reason? I can only go up. I, I don't want to go backwards. Like, and I, I'm not a confrontational person, anyways. But at the same time, I'm just like, I pick everybody up. Just do that. Make sure you put everybody up. And when you when you, when you get all the funds that you accumulated, y'all. Go put it back into the community. Put it back into somebody. Always bless somebody if, whenever you can. If you got cash on you, and even if you think that man not homeless, give that to that man. Cause if that man feels like he needs some extra money, young. Get that man extra money, young. Cause it, from your heart, you pay. You putting it back into the community. You put it back out. Um. Cause God gonna want you to do that. You gotta serve. You still gotta uh, serve your purpose and live your purpose. And I just want to say, I'm so blessed, grateful, and thankful for uh, my supporters, for my brand, to help me live my purpose. And we all about to go up from here. All right. So I pick y'all back up. Y'all, I pick, I have another vlog ready for y'all next week. Um, I'm posting this this on Sunday. I'm not really picking y'all back up. I'm really into the vlog. So with that being said, y'all, I love y'all. I just learned this, and I ain't even learned it right for real. But I love y'all too, Thomas. Peace out. Um, next vlog gonna be special, kind of, sort of. No, the next couple vlogs gonna be special. Because we gotta go to Dallas. We gotta go to Jacksonville. But there's gonna be a vlog out before that. We just gonna do Daily Life with a scat pack on it. I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all how to let them know. But today, we all just got, whoever watched this fully or whatever, you all just got better. You all just got that mindset. You all about to be, have extra income in your life, okay? All right, so I love y'all too, Thomas. We the gang, we the family. Peace out.